Welcome to episode 17.2, everyone. On a th Thursday? Lucky you! We are trying to get back on our regular schedule, so you get some bonus listening this week. Since we just did an episode a few days ago, you can probably just assume the announcements are the same. Uh, yep, you know, Gen Con, other cool projects. Uh, insert fun banter here. And now, a review! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, this review is from D. Kane from the United States of America on iTunes. It is titled, This Show, Man. This really is the best. Character Evolution cast can stand on its own. The episode with James D'Amato should be required cited in the introduction of the PHB 6E. I've picked up almost all of the live plays they've had on as guests. The others I was already listening to. Aww. Wow. That's really good. That's really nice. Yeah, thank well, you. Thank you, DK. Um, I would love to be cited in the introduction of the PHB for the 6th edition. I would also like the 6th edition to include more rules for kissing and shopping. Uh -huh. I agree. And doing this blood is... magic. Okay, yep. <laughs> 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 Mostly on the same page there, but that's uh, okay. Know. Hey, two out of three ain't bad. Hey, I would like it included just for you, Amelia. Oh, thank you, Ryan. <laughs> I would like rules on how to just be the nicest. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. That's called lawful good. Uh-huh. All right. Well, with all that out of the way, <laughs> here's the episode yep. where I'm just and the nicest. You are just the nice. Oh, it is such ador an adorable oh, episode. You guys, so. I really did. I tried really hard. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> Enjoy. Last time on Character Creation Cast, we had Megan and Charlotte with us from Tabletop Potluck to create some super adorable characters for Mouse Guard. We were right in the middle of that process, so we'll pick right up where we left off. Enjoy! Alright, I'm all set on, um, Wises. Alright, it looks like our next one is Guard Resources, which again looks like it's based on your rank. So, uh, I get a one. <laughs> Looks like I get two. Yep. You get four. I'm wow. rich. <laughs> <laughs> rich. So this is how resourceful you are with your possessions. Yep. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, it makes sense that I'd be resourceful then. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Hunting yeah. and all that GLs. Oh, interesting. Okay, so it's the guards pay plus how resourceful and clever the mouse is with their possessions and material goods. Cool. I'm learning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, all this stuff is easy because it's like, oh, it's just a number. Yeah. Okay. Done. Yep. Okay, guard circles. Uh, the circle's ability uh, represents how well connected your character is. Cool. Which again, it looks like goes off your rank. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Circles. One. Two. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, mouse traits. Yeah, the next pick is uh, basically just a quality you were born with, and the first rank of it gives you plus one die once per session in a situation where you think it's useful to the task at hand. Hmm. Okay. So you can pick a trait that you already have or choose a new one out of this big list of traits. I think I'm jaded. I, I think I've that. seen some stuff <laughs> in my life. War is heck. <laughs> War never changes. Ugh. War has changed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to decide between curious, curious or determined. Mm. I like that fat is one of them. That's yeah. so cute. Yeah. <laughs> curious is fun. I will tell you. <laughs> determined is also fun. Yeah. Both of those are really easy ones to put into finding a situation for. I think I'm going to go with curious. Excellent. I'm very tempted to take Lost. As the <laughs> I really like that. <laughs> like, what if we're, like, not even the section of the guard that you're supposed to be with? Uh -huh. <laughs> we're like the C team. 
<laughs> you're just like out scouting and you then know, you you lost yeah. your way back and you bumped into this other <laughs> or other little or crew. Is it I'm I'm lost. I know I'm lost and I can use that to my advantage to find my way. Hmm. I think What? I, I, <laughs> what are you I talking about? What are you talking about, Ryan? <laughs> You can't just say words. I can say words. They, I think so good. They don't have to Lost make sense. Lost is specifically bad with directions. Yeah. Which would be hilarious. It would be. All right. I, I'm going with Lost because that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with Wolf Snout because I think I'm always sniffing for nice smells. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, new Aww. ingredients for your recipes. Yeah. I love it. Got to find some mushrooms to put in your baked goods. It's beautiful. All right. Oh, we get something for tender paws only next. Yeah, Ooh. something right. that you in- something you learned and inherited from your parents. Aw, which apparently you forget by the time you're done being a tender paw. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. At that point, you're way too much nurture over nature. Uh huh. I am gonna go with natural bearings because mm. my parents mm. are cartographers. Yeah, makes sense. And these are traits, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see that one on the previous list. That's okay. <laughs> I'm sticking with it. You got the fun one. Uh-huh. Um, and then I, as a patrol leader, also get to pick one more from a slightly different list, I think. Oh, yeah. You are on... Oh. Even more jaded. Even <laughs> more jaded. <laughs> Double jaded. That sounds like a, a very bad, like, 90s video game. <laughs> get nocturnal. <It> so <laughs> I do like nocturnal. Yeah. Okay, so you get nocturnal because you're an insomniac now because of <laughs> yeah everything you've seen. Oh, interesting. Yeah, patrol leaders and guard captains. I just have these like hollow eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you have weasel nightmares. <laughs> Almost certainly. Um, I think ooh, scarred would be fun, but I think mm. at the end of the day, I'm compassionate. Aww. Aww. Despite it all. Oh, next is Amelia's favorite part. Uh-huh. I saw that, and I thought the same thing. Well, but I found my book, so I'm going to grab my book real quick. But they've got examples. Ooh, she's getting her name book. Ooh. Yeah. We need some medieval flair for these names. Uh-huh. I'm pretty some sure. Some 1153 flair. I'm pretty sure there's a section in there for medieval style names. I'm a sucker for medieval names. I don't know why. I think they're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to name my adorable little mouse Magdalena. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, I like Aww. that. Oh, no. See, the hardest part for me is always deciding what gender my character is going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I don't really know, but then I picked a name that I liked, so now I think it's, um, I think they're a lady. All right. I am going with Tander. Aw. Tander? Tander. Hander. Tander. Ah. Tander with a T. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you, you're you like one of my mouse's mo- mom's names, because I uh, went ahead, because names are usually the first thing I think oh. of, <laughs> so I skip ahead, and then I'm like, oh right, there's a section for this later. <laughs> uh, my my mouse is going to be Duncan. Oh, Duncan. Duncan. That's nice. a good, like Duncan Donuts. That's a good mouse name. <laughs> <laughs> Do you make donuts? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The baker. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Uh, I think my mouse will be Wilmot. Wilmot. Oh, I like Which it. is the feminine version of William. Oh, cool. I did not know that. Yeah. It's uh, it's antiquated, that's for sure. <laughs> what? People don't really name their kids Wilmot. <laughs> Could have sworn I had two co-workers named Wilmot. <laughs> right? If we all have names, I believe the next step is fur color. Fur color. Well, I haven't named my parents. Oh, that's, that's later. later. Oh, it's actually after. right after fur color. Well, but I already have the name book open. Oh, okay. so it you know seems like fair. we might as well do parent We names. can do that. That's but valid. That's like the ne- okay, fine. <laughs> it's okay. We can do that. We can jump around a little we'll bit. I'm sure it's fine. Anarchy. Pure anarchy. And David Peterson won't be mad at us <laughs> if we jump around. Oh, my gosh. The, uh, the example in this book for parents' names. Chris names his folks Ma and Pa Twistwood. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> We need last names. Oh no! Yeah, it's fine. I tend to go with the like you've got a name, and then your like last name is of Ivydale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. That makes sense. 
Du Copper Wood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to name my parents Nicholas and Esther. Nice. I think my mouse has two moms and their names are Clove and Lily. My Aww. mouse has two moms. <laughs> <laughs> same podcast, same. Mine. Nice. <laughs> We're on that wavelength. <laughs> mine's, mine's names are Florencine and Tandy. Nice. Nice. Tandy passed away, though. Aw. Oh. That's really sweet. R.I.P. R.I.P. They're older. All right. Fine. Lily is going to be one of my parents. One of our parents has the same name. Oh, were they the same people? No. <laughs> I mean, they could be. We could be step siblings. Oh, that's true. <gasps> Half do siblings. It. Do it. Let's do it. Or All right. oh, do you want to be step siblings or full siblings? Um, well, you guys are from different cities, right? Well, technically, yeah. So <laughs> probably step siblings. <laughs> yeah, we'll do step siblings then. Fine, fine. <laughs> I love it. Yay, step siblings. Okay, now we can choose our fur colors. I don't have a father name. Well, you need to pick your mentor <laughs> names and your uh, senior artisans names too, and your enemy. and your friend and, and your, your friend. friend. <laughs> yeah. Immediately, it's like this game's no fun anymore. This game, I don't like this game anymore. It's too many. <laughs> That's they um, have a handy dandy list in the book. That's why I know it they works. do. I am going to name my senior artisan Garo. Garo, mm, I dig it. All right, uh, my father's name is going to be Gamleon. I like that a lot. Ooh. Yeah. And who was my mentor? Which one of you is my mentor? Oh, me. Wilmot. Wilmot. <laughs> All right. My senior artisan's name is Sarah for Sarah Angel from the Magic the Gathering card game. Oh, yes. <laughs> my senior artisan's Rantac. 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 Nice. I think my senior artisan is Thurston. Thurston. Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. Comes from the random list in the back of the book, baby. That's where I'm picking mine from. Yep. I'm like, this list only has like a couple dozen names. I, I can easily choose from this if I pretend all other names don't exist. <laughs> okay, mentor. See, I'm sad because I kind of wanted Charlotte's to also have been my mentor, but they say that if you're a guard mouse, then for a PC to be your mentor... They have to have the old fur trait, and I'm like, mm. mean. That is mean. But Boo. to be fair, we're not playing this game, so <laughs> hey, we can do whatever we want. Don't twist the rule. You know, that's a suggested rule, and we have now said it does say that, but we're not going to do that. I'm going to do it. How do you spell your name? W-I-L-M-O-T. That's what I thought. Okay. So I That's was it. your mentor? You were my mentor. Amazing. I don't care. You can I be mean, young. You can be I a am. I was. I put myself as 19, Ooh. so oh, like yeah. I've only yeah, been a guard mouse fine. for like a year. You just graduated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm 22. Nice. I'm 15. Little baby. Baby, baby mouse. All right. I think my mentor's name was Nolan. North? <laughs> <laughs> okay. My mentor's name is Sylvia. Sylvia. I've always loved that name. It is a really nice name. Now, do we want to go back to fur color? It's a very simple choice. I mean, we probably should. <laughs> we did skip over it entirely. I think yeah. we're, a brown is very common, then blonde and gray. Uh, but black and white and red, I think, are also options. Yeah. I think red is rare. Red but, is rare. You know, we're all PCs. We can be whatever color we want to be. I'm going to go with light brown. Mm -hmm. Chartreuse. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Probably the worst color for a mouse. That's <laughs> yeah. trying to scout ahead. Uh, Duncan's going to be chestnut brown with a white spot on his belly. Aw, cute. No. I wonder if I could get away with being edgy and be a piebald mouse. Yes, you can. I'm going to do it. Because I say so. <laughs> I'm just black with white spots. Aw. Yes. Edgy. Okay, so I want to be light brown, but I want to have one little dark brown spot on my left ear. Yes, go for it. I approve of this. All right. I'm going to be um, black furred with all, all my feet are full white. I was going to say, <laughs> little boots. it was so weird. I was like, he's going to have bootsies. Yep. And then you said that, and I was like, I'm a mind reader. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that trait. Uh-huh. 
Ryan wise. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, because my mouse's name is Tander, um, and they probably used to call him Tanderfoot. Oh, oh. <laughs> I love it. That's adorable. <laughs> Tanderpaw. Does anybody have any friends? Yes. I have no <laughs> friends. No. Uh, yeah, that's our next step, isn't it? What? Mm-hmm. Who's, who's a friend? Well, considering Duncan was listed as my friend for my character Ginny in our Mouse Guard run, Ginny has to be listed as his friend. Good. I approve of this. The crossover potential. <laughs> <laughs> the most ambitious crossover event of the century. Megan. X Megan. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just want to name a friend Brimble. Because that just feels like an adorable Brimble. mouse name. Yeah. Brimble. Okay. Um, so if Lily is our shared parent, who is your other parent's name? My other parent's name is Clove. Clove. Are they still alive? Uh, I think both of them are still alive. Okay. Clove is my friend. Oh, nice. What a good family. Wait, so uh, what's your other parent's name? My other parent's <laughs> name is Gamleon. Gamleon's my enemy. Oh. <laughs> oh. You are an edgy child. Oh, no. Who's like 60 years old. <laughs> no, I'm, they'll, um, I'll, I'll put them down as my friend as well. Nice. And what was your character's name? Tander. Tander. Parent. What's their profession? I guess I can make it up, can't I? Uh-huh. <laughs> what? Um... I'll say they're a miller. No, wait. What was your parents? My parents were cartographers. Uh, cartographers? Yep. Cartographer. What were your parents? Harvesters. Harvester. Oh, man. Look at this modern family getting along. What's uh, what's close hometown? Um, Elmas. Elmas. Same as me. Cool. And I'm going to say Gamleon hails from my hometown of Port Sumac. Excellent. Okay. I'm really bad with names. What is your character? Wilmot. Wilmot. How can I forget that one? W-I-L-M-O-T. <laughs> kind of like Mott's applesauce. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's also a city in Wisconsin. What is Wilmot? Wilmot. Yeah. I did not know that. Oh. I think we competed against them in academic decathlon. <laughs> we have a will met near us. Yeah. Probably comes from the same route. Okay. I, I'm really, I, I want to flesh out these backgrounds a little bit. I'm a, my artisan and mentor hometowns. I mean, is that a thing that we do? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Work. It's definitely something you can do. Technically, isn't that part of our discussion episode though? What? No, I don't Probably. think so. Probably. When we talk about like. That's talking about how, yeah. Well, Oh, I guess we create this is, backgrounds, this is part but of the, we this also is part have of our fan fiction section. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I guess. think it's more something that you would flesh out with the GM. Oh, okay. If there was Well, one. we're all the GMs here. <laughs> did our did our tender paw friend have a friend? Um, yes, Brimble. Brimble is a potter. Uh-huh. Oh, I love how, them. How do they know Brimble? Uh, they grew up together. They were BFFs. Good. All right, so my senior artisan, Sarah, who is a healer, is from Elmos. Oh, and, we're neighbors. Yeah, and Sylvia, uh, Pathfinder, is from Lockhaven. Makes sense. Awesome. So we've got friends. We've got all the other stuff. Do we have enemies? enemies. Now we need an enemy. Oh, dun-dun-dun. You can decide if your so character So I made an myself an enemy. Oh, yeah? I did. Um, I made an enemy named Jasper. Who is another tender paw that like we were supposed to be working together on something and I messed up and then I made Jasper look bad and now Jasper doesn't like me. <gasps> oh, I know. Poor Jasper. Jasper's holding a grudge and it's really rude. Get better, Jasper. I love it. I think that my enemy is Antonius, who I was betrothed to, oh. but I. Uh, I ended it. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll say ex-fiance. Ex-fiance. He didn't take it very well. I'm going to say that they are also my enemy. Ooh. Because oh. I kind of saw you. You got my back, brother. Yeah. Kind of saw you as, as family, and I don't want uh, I don't want that bad, bad vibes around at all. And he didn't care for my uh, my attitude. 
I love families. I approve of this. <laughs> this is quite good. Awesome. What was his name again? Antonius. Antonius. Let's go kick his butt. Yeah. How do you spell that one? Uh, I wrote it down in a way that I'm not sure is correct, but I had it A-N-T-O-N-I-U-S. That's what I wrote. Yeah. Ah, yay. What is Antonius? Um, oh, good a question. guy. Perfect. <laughs> a guy. A um, like merchant cares. or something. I don't know. I miss that. Guy oh, so maybe like a merchant or something. Oh, a merchant. Ooh. A sales mouse. Sales mouse. Sales mouse. A door to door sales mouse. Door to door sales. Oh, what is <laughs> Mouse Avon. Uh huh. Oh. Uh, uh, would we say manipulator then <laughs> for the profession? Um. Oh, what is it called? Oh, my gosh. What's it called in the game? Uh, like a, what's, what's the scam artist one? Why am I blanking on this? Uh, let's take a look here. Megan, do you know what I'm talking about? No. Ah. <laughs> 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 I'm just going to Google search mouse guard professions. No. Oh, whatever. We can say he's a sailor. A sailor? Mm. Oh, interesting. Because then you would know him mm, mm -hmm. climbing around Port Sumac. Yeah. It's probably from Port Sumic. Lee. Duncan's enemy is going to be Mean Joe. <laughs> oh. That's, oh, that Mean Joe. He sure is a mean one. That might not be his real name, but that's what Duncan knows him as. <laughs> uh, his profession is jerk. Oh. His <laughs> description is meanie face and bully. <laughs> I think I see the picture. <laughs> is this like a recent bully or is this like carried over from kindergarten and you're still mad oh he is uh, my childhood bully <laughs> <No>. <laughs> mean joe he's actually like an upstanding mean citizen joe. nowadays <laughs> I and mean, we all know at his core he's still mean joe yep. he's just trying to make up for it like he's always really nice to you but you're like still super salty about it two faced <laughs> <laughs> look at him being all nice trying to be all nice I don't trust him. Um, Y'all get to pick a cloak Ooh. color. We do indeed. This is one of my favorite parts. I do not. Womp womp. Oh, you don't? Uh no. No, tender paws don't get sad. Cloaks. We have to. We have to be cold. Dark. It would be technically up to Charlotte's character in play to come up with the decide. time to give a cloak with Ooh. a co specific color when you earn the tender it. paw. That sounds like <laughs> which is never sounds no, like a very fun <laughs> role playing uh, possibility. Yeah, I love playing with tender paws. I was a tender paw the last time I played and it was a lot of fun. Nice. I had I had a little handkerchief that I tied around my neck. Yeah, you did. To dead. pretend it was a, a cloak. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so cute. All right. Trevor's a good boy. He's a good boy. So Tander is going with a dark teal cloak. Ooh, Ooh I like why? that. Why? Why because it's my favorite color. But also, it represents, <laughs> okay, lore-wise, um, represents the sea and uh, deep horizons. Nice. Ooh. Ooh, maybe there's little, like, uh, star constellations on the cloak, too. Ooh, yeah. Like for that. navigation purposes. I think Wilmot has a dark forest green cloak. Why? <laughs> 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 this is my job. <laughs> what? Um, because she is a resourceful hunter. A green of the woods. Nice. Duncan is going to have a golden brown cloak because... Uh, wait, 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 Megan. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because no matter what, it's obvious that the main love in Duncan's life is a perfectly baked bit of bread. When it's got that beautiful golden brown. Oh, nice. The the nice, <laughs> delicious it. crust. I'm yeah. so happy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I found some colored pencils and I'm coloring my baby mouse. Oh, nice. Aww. Yes. I can't do that on the computer. No. Yeah. Take that, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Curse technology. All right. So that's all the cloaks. All right. What's next? First mission. So the next thing oh. isn't really... Okay. Something that necess is necessary. Um, so you stop and you discuss what's going on in the game and like what your mission's going to be. I've known a lot of GMs who skip that because they kind of want to keep it a surprise. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's not 
completely necessary, and if they do that, then they'll just wait to do the belief goal and instinct mm -hmm. in play. But I think we can kind of just do a generic belief goal and instinct for our mice mm -hmm. just in general yeah. without having a mission in mind. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, definitely at least a belief and an instinct. If we yeah. skip out on goal, yeah. that is more understandable. Because a goal is normally more mission specific. Mm. Yeah. All right, so a belief for your character based on how he lives his role in the guard. An overarching ethical or moral stance. Mm. Oof. That's a... Uh, it's one to think about. Yeah, no small task there. The example here is, I'll build a good name for the mouse guard. Yeah, I think another example that's given that's actually from the comic is, it's not what you fight, it's what you fight for. Uh, my heart. Yeah. <laughs> I cry. <laughs> okay. I gotta find the beliefs. Ah, here we go. What drives your character is what my character sheet says should go here. Yep, not a goal, but an ideal to live up to. Uh-huh. So I think my little buddy um, wants to uphold the reputation of the mouse guard. Okay. They want to be a good example of those that came before. Ooh, that's good. Set a good example for from those that came before and for those who come after. <laughs> Cover all your bases. Uh, my belief is family, first and always. Hmm. I think mine is a cautious mouse is better than a dead mouse. Ooh. Mine is my companions will leave my side with a full belly and a wide smile. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So it looks like goal we can skip and instinct. How does your character react? What has your guard mouse been trained to do? And write an instinct for your character. Interesting. Yeah, so this might be something like, I always go in guns blazing, or I always stop to ask a question first. Hmm. I just want to say, I always try my best. Mine's say, going... Oh, no, do yours, please. Okay. Um, I always have my bow knocked at the slightest hint of trouble. I'm going to go with, you catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Which is phrased more like a belief, yeah. but I like the meaning. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, I went with, uh, remember my training, it will serve me well. Because my instinct is I have no idea where I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Look at these adorable little babies Here's we made. Them. Yes, I think we are oh, gear. almost done, yep. except we're just making our gear, I think. Okay. That's the only thing that's left. Yep. yep. Amazing. So what weapon does your mouse carry? Common choices include a shield, knife, sword, staff, spear, hook, and line. Halberd, sling, and bow. Ooh. I think I carry a bow and arrow and a knife. Keeping it simple mm -hmm. and hunty. I'm going to say a staff and a net. Cool. I'm going to go with um, a bow and arrow and a staff. I want to say a shield and um, a well-stocked traveling pack. Wise decision. Mm. Oh, yeah. Any other tools or devices? Um, okay, so I guess other things I should go with is probably, like, uh, writing devices. I'm gonna have an Able Skeever pan. I have no idea what that is. Uh, they're like the little tiny round pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> like, fluffy, small-filled pancakes. Oh, nice. oh, man, I want Able Skeevers. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a writing kit and paper for, uh, doing cartography. Not the greatest, but still car cartography. What else do I want to have? I think I carry a pipe with me. Hmm. I'm going to have like a little uh, Robin Hood hat. Adorable. Oh, super cute. I have no idea what those are called, so I'm just calling it a Robin Hood hat. Now I'm incredibly curious as to what that is actually called. Yep, same. <laughs> I'm going to look up medieval hats. This is what, this is what Google's for. Because it's not like a tricorn hat. No. What hat does Robin Hood wear? Woodman, woodman hat. Bicocket? In French, it is <laughs> it called a. It might be a, a bicocket. Chapeau à bec du. Oh, du oh, oh, that's not du, it's du to its resemblance. Um, the hat was originally worn by nobles and royalty, and later by the rising merchant class. Yeah, bicocket. Yeah. Interesting. It's often it's a great name. decorated with feathers, <laughs> jewels, and other ornaments. That's really interesting that uh, Robin Hood took that style for himself. As he robbed yeah. from the rich and gave to the poor. Very symbolic. I get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A bicocket. I love it. 
All right, I have a little bike pocket because I will have no idea what that means. I'm going to put in parentheses Robin Hood. Head. Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I like the idea of having a wimple. Oh, that's super cute. Yeah. So the guard patrol is the rest of everybody, right? All, all of our characters. I should probably have done that as we were uh, creating these. Things. I know, right? <laughs> oh, goodness. So you're uh, Wilmot's a patrol leader. Yep. Uh, and your patrol. He's a hunter. Hunter. Okay. Green cloak. That's me. Okay. Who else do we have? Uh, we have Duncan. Duncan. Who's a guard mouse. What's your patrol specialty? Chef. Cook. Yeah. Baker. <laughs> the baker. The baker. The baker. The light brown cloak. Oh, uh, I guess I should remember my ward's name, huh? Yeah. Is that me? My protege. Yeah. <laughs> my people. Uh, <laughs> it's true. What was it? Um, oh, my God. Magdalena. Magdalena. Thank you. I was stuck on Wilhelmina. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'd be very cute. Tenderpaw? Is that what it's called? Yep. Okay. And what is Magdalena's patrol specialty? Ooh. Um, do I have one? Oh. I don't think you do. No, you don't. I said scout to be. <laughs> what was uh, Magdalena's cloak color? None. No None. cloak. Oh, that's right. Sad. She'll get there. I know. She'll earn it one day. <laughs> okay. So we've got them. And then uh, my character, if anybody's writing that down and hasn't yet, mm -hmm. Tander with a dark teal cloak um, with a patrol specialty of Pathfinder. The Lost Pathfinder. Yes. The Lost Pathfinder. I love it. Sounds like a... That's some, hey. that's some prophecy stuff uh -huh. right there. You know? Not all those who wander are lost. Ooh. And not all who are lost wander, I guess? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have so, friends or rivals. Interesting. Yeah. It's weird, because there isn't like a spot for your friend and rival? On the character sheet that I linked to you, there's like uh, little check boxes on the right hand side. Yeah, yeah, but like that's under guard. Oh no, it's yeah, down there too. Patrol. I have a slightly different character oh, sheet that has everything yeah. written, except for wises. Oh, you don't have wises? <laughs> I don't have a spot for wises, what? but I have a spot for like friend and enemy and stuff. Okay, yeah, we've got friend and enemy here too for the contacts. I'll, I'll probably download that version and put everything in that version just so everything. It's nice. Yeah, that'd be nice. Too. I like this version. This is really nice. I wish that I had this when I was playing Mouse Guard. Oh, it's pretty. <laughs> it's yeah. pretty. And uh, wow. for everybody listening out there, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, make these versions of the sheets available too. Um, there And a link probably to the uh, thread that I got these from to awesome. give uh, proper credit to the creator of these sheets. Yay. I'm sure it's in very, very tiny print on the side, but, you know, I can't read that sideways. <laughs> <laughs> And basically, now that we have our stuff, you just need to give yourself one fate point and one persona point, and that's character creation. Oh. That's mouse guard <gasps> character creation. We did it. Wasn't so bad, huh? No, we made people. It was, we made people, and I made a good people, you Ryan. You did. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> I love this Thank sweet you. little tender paw. Uh -huh. I know. You're very cute. Uh-huh. So there's like no backstabby tendencies. I you know I'm really, I really went outside the box, Ryan. But you know, <laughs> there there's always adding yet to that sentence. I don't know. I don't see this sweet baby. A, a lot can happen on the roads in the mouse territories. Yep. So I've seen some bad stuff out there. Yeah, this tender paw is no longer tender. <laughs> no, they're adorable. They <laughs> and we'll keep it that way. Yep. I will yeah. protect this child with my life. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to you. Uh -huh. I mean, I don't think that we really need to talk about how they met because they're in the mouse guard. So yeah. that's how they met. Mm -hmm. um, and we've kind of created their backgrounds as part of this character creation. So I think that's yeah, that. I think that's everything. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We did it. Yay. Yay. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you both so much for joining us for character creation in mouse guard. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Charlotte, uh, do you want to go ahead and remind people where they can find you online? Can do. You can find me on Twitter at the cornbreb with a B because I love cornbread, <laughs> but it was taken. So <laughs> cornbreb with a B is my Twitter handle. Um, you can find me playing a bunch of different characters. You can find me playing a tender pawn mouse guard, mouse guard at tabletop potluck. 
And that's about it for me. <laughs> and Megan, what about you? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at tabletop underscore Megan. And you can also listen to me at Tabletop Potluck. Well, thank you both so much for joining us, and thank you to everyone for listening. Please join us again next week for our discussion episode. Character Creation Cast is a production of the One Shot Podcast Network and can be found online at www.charactercreationcast.com. Head to the website to get more information on our hosts, this show, and even our press kit. Character Creation Cast can also be found on Twitter at CreationCast or on our Discord server at discord.charactercreationcast.com. I'm one of your hosts, Ryan Bolter, and I can be found on Twitter at Lord Neptune or online at lordneptune.com. Our other host, Amelia Antrim, can be found on Twitter at Ginger Reckoning. Music for this episode is used with a Creative Commons license or with permission from the podcast they originated from. Further information can be found within the show notes. Our main theme music is Hero Remix by Steve Combs and is used with a Creative Commons license. This podcast is owned by us under Creative Commons. This episode was edited by Ryan Bolter. Further information for the game systems used and today's guests can be found in the show notes. If you'd like to leave us a rating or review, we have links to various review platforms out there, including Apple Podcasts, in our show notes. Also, check the show notes for links to our other projects. Thanks for joining us. And remember, we find that the best part of any role-playing game is character creation. So go out there and create some amazing people. We will see you next time. We gotta read some show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Character Creation Cast is hosted by the One Shot Podcast Network. If you enjoyed our show, visit oneshotpodcast.com, where you'll find other great shows like Campaign. Campaign is an actual play podcast exploring lawn form role playing. The current campaign, Skyjacks, takes place in an original setting inspired by the music of the Decemberists, folk tales and classic adventure fiction. Join Liz Anderson, John Patrick Cohen, Tyler Davis, Johnny O'Mara, and Game Master James D'Amato as they tell a tale of daring sky pirates. Also, it's basically an elaborate retelling of Weekend at Bernie's. Just search for Campaign or James Tomato on iTunes, Google Play, or your favorite podcast app.